Good morning, everybody. Welcome to, I was going to say Motivated Entrepreneurs, that's the other podcast. Welcome to Hacking Self Story. So on Mondays, what we do is we go through my week in numbers, what went right, what went bad, and how we can improve, and uh, all that good stuff. Um, by the way, what a weekend. Probably Saturday, if you read my newsletter, mrselfstories.com, uh, head on over there, put your email address in completely free, and I give you all my... Well, every single day, we, apart from Saturday and Sunday, we go through uh, my figures for that day. And then on Mondays, we go through my weekly figures. Anyway, so on today's newsletter, I mentioned that Saturday, still got a croaky voice now, was without doubt one of the best days of my life. It was my son's birthday, nine year, ninth, ninth birthday. He's a massive Man City fan as well. Uh, went to races with all his friend, friends, hired this big party bus. Um, I had like 50 people at races, friends and family. All, well, most people came back here um, and we had some drinks and watched the match and cheered on Man City. It was wonderful. Really, really enjoyed it. Absolutely amazing. Right, so weekly figures. Was it a good week? Was it a bad week? Was it? Uh, it's like every goddamn week. There's something that could have gone better and there's something that could have gone worse. Ultimately, yes, I believe it was a successful week. I'm just, che I, I'm just checking the net square footage. Um, net square footage across the four sites. Uh, oh, not much in it. Not much in it at all. Probably just up maybe 100 square foot over the, over the four sites. Right. But however, we got lots of lots of quotes. So 31 quotes um, at Willoughby. So that is that is fairly good. Anything over, anything over tw four quotes a day, I'm really happy with. And that's 4.43 quotes per day. So number of reservations. Check this out. 14 reservations. 14. 14 reservations out of 31 quotes. That's conversion rate of 45%. Way to go, team. That is awesome. So, and we've got a new person started as well, which is nice. And then next week, we've got another new person starting. I can't tell you too much about that yet, but as soon as we can announce it, we will announce it on LinkedIn. And I'll probably mention it on here because uh, this person is fairly well known in the industry. So, yeah, really, really excited for the new starters to, uh, to start and flourish. And yeah, it's going to be good. Right, so we have... Uh, 14 reservations. We're going to take a swig of coffee. Why do, why do I feel like I need to go? Ah, woods. Right, 14 reservations. Number of movings. We only had eight movings last week. So conversions, uh, movings to quotes is 26%. We had 750 square foot move in, and we had 425 square foot moved out at Willoughby. So that means that we were plus... 325 at square foot. The Luton was rented out four times. And get this, the transit have come back. Well, it was rented out once. However, there is no transit. I have no idea where this transit's come from. So on the figures, it says the transit was rented out once and Luton's rented out four times. But we don't have a transit. So maybe, just maybe, it's supposed to be five times Luton and zero times the transit. I don't know. Um, nine internal rooms moved in. Five internal rooms moved out. So that's a... That's net internal rooms we've got occupied at 334. No containers in, no containers up. So we've got 42 containers rented. Car parking space is still three. Store occupancy at the minute is 76.61%. Merchandise sales last week, uh, we sold on average per moving was £20.26. Supposed to be 25 quid, but never, never she minds. Um, insurance. Insurance is a big thing. The more and more research I do on other sites, I cannot believe people aren't making it a necessity to have insurance, a requirement. There's somebody who's competing against me in one of my places. I was going deep dive on their website and going through it last night. And they say that insurance is provided if needed. No, no, don't do that. Say it's required. It's a requirement. 15%, yes, 15%. Of your revenue, depending on where you are, um, Anthony Adams uh, made a really, really good point. He said, yeah, I get you, Dean, 100%. However, it depends where you are. If you're in London and the rents are very, very high, then it's hard to get 15% insurance. I was like, yeah, great point. Absolutely brilliant point. So depending where you are geographically, um, but around my areas, we're always getting 15%. So you should be hitting. You That money leaving on the table. It's almost all profit. I think it's like, last time I did the calculations, something like 90 I want to say 95, but between 90 and 95% of that revenue is profit because it's not it's it's not a lot in the grand scheme of things to get cover. So you're leaving a lot of money on the table, a lot, a lot, a lot of money on the table, and it's needless to do so. We're making six figures 
on insurance every single year. Now, I, I look at my competition who aren't doing that. And I just, I, I want to shake you and just say, come on, it's a requirement. It's not if needed. No, you need it because you need that money in your pocket. And also, it's a win for the customer as well because it's peace of mind for them. And if anything, heaven forbid, happens to their stuff and it's not insured, holy shit, where well, you get a lot of shit. Even if it's not your fault, even if it, you know somebody breaks in and you can't do anything about it, or I don't know, uh, whatever it may be, uh, things happen in self storage, unfortunately, every now and again. And so you do need insurance, and uh, and customers need insurance, and we make money from it. So why wouldn't you? Anyway, I bang this drum all the time because I, I still cannot believe how many people do not have, offer insurance or do not make insurance a requirement, and it's a it's a very 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 quick win. Okay, next week, how busy are we going to be? Mm, not really, again, considering all the reservations. Seven move-ins due for 450 square foot, and we've got three move-outs due for 225 square foot. So not massive. Um, let's have a look at Clough Road. Make sure I log into the store platform. Probably should have done this before. Um, I think we're about 70%. Let's have a look. Login. I know we did. Uh, here we go. Analytic. Oh, yeah. 70.29%. Uh, gross revenue. Yeah, it's got that. It's good. Right. So, the gro I tell you what, what I'll do is go for the figures first of all. So, we've got 34 quotes. Um, um, that's 4.86 quotes per day. Really, really good. Number of reservations were seven. So, not amazing there. Only a 21% conversion rate from quotes to reservations. We had five move-ins there, so not amazing. Again, just a 15% conversion from quotes to move-ins. Um, we moved in 365 square foot, and we moved out. Are you ready for it? 435, so we actually lost 70 square foot. A little break for a little swig of coffee. I do love Nespresso coffee. It is delicious. <laughs> Snout proudly sponsored. Buying Nespresso. So the amount of insurance sold this last week was 22,000. That's an average of 4,400 per moving. Not great because we want to be hitting 6,000 pounds there. That's the target. Um, the amount of square foot due in this next week, this is good. 745 square foot for, uh, for Clough Road. Really, really good. What's even better is the amount of square foot due out this week is 175. So we're going to make over 500 square foot, gain over 500 square foot. Um, this next week, which is which is wonderful. Now let's go on to the figures here. The gross revenue at the minute of a twelfth of is it? Yep, the twelfth is nine thousand eight hundred eighty-two pound. Really, really good. Last month at this point, we took nine thousand nine hundred pound, and so it's it's very marginally um, more this last month. Um, so and don't forget, so, sorry, last month was marginally more, but don't forget we had more days in that month than we do in June. So you'd expect to take more money because there's more days. Uh, monthly reoccurring revenue. Yes, we're still we're still powering on towards the 30,000 pound mark here. 27,663 pound. This time last month, it was 25,881. So we're 2,000 pounds just about higher, which is great. So by the middle of summer, we should be hitting that 30,000 pound mark, which will be wicked. Occupancy is 70.29%. 30 days ago, it was 7267 So not, I mean, you've got to remember, it's a little bit different here, the occupancy, because um, the way Story used to do it is when it was a reservation, then it, it used to go down on the occupancy, even though they haven't moved in. They've changed that now. So our occupancy isn't 100% accurate because some of that will be, um, some of our, our reservations now don't count that. Like this week, we'll have loads of people moving in. Um, and hopefully the occupancy you'll see go up. Um, and previously it's basically it's part of the old system and the new system. So although it said we lost two percent here, we haven't necessarily lost two percent. In fact, I don't think we have. Um, so it's a new system and the old system. But anyway, things are trending in the right direction for occupancy. I still think we'll hit eighty-five to ninety percent in the summer. Convinced of it? Oh, baby! Uh, rent per square foot is twenty pounds sixty-six, um, which is good because that's going up. 30 days ago, it was £18.04. We are switching our focus ever so slightly now because we're in the 70% full. We are making sure that our revenue management is on point. We're doing 20% increases in price at uh, Clough Road. So you should see that figure scoot up. Um, we ideally need to be £25 there. So we want to increase that by 25% in the next year. Um, 
Yep, Coventry will do. Right, let's have a look at Wrexham. Again, a bit of a quiet week. We haven't started our paper clicks campaign yet. I don't know why, by the way. I'm going to have to um, look into that and see what we're doing and why we haven't started the PPC there, because really, we should do. Um, so it's a quiet week. I have another bit of coffee. because My coffee's going to go cold if I don't drink it. Right, we had three quotes. We had one reservation and one move-in. So 33% conversions on quotes to move-ins and quotes to reservations. 125 square foot move-in, 125 square foot move-out. I think, I believe, we're about 72% uh, full, 73% full. And we took £10,000 worth of insurance last week. We've got no move-ins due this week, and we've got 55 square foot due to move-out. However, the containers are getting delivered this week, so we're getting some containers in there, and so that should be good. Uh, let's have a look at... Beverly, my first love. <laughs> uh, amount of quotes. Be Beverly, first, first love, because it's been open 10 years now, and I absolutely love it. Over 10 years. And uh, yeah, it's my my first site. Amount of quotes, 10 quotes. Uh, Beverly, by the way, it's just, it just works. £180,000 in revenue, £30,000 in costs, £150,000 net profit, and I never have to worry about it, ever. The occupancies, well, it actually went down to 70%, 72% in the winter, but shot back up again. Um yeah, it's it's brilliant. A absolutely. I can see where people love container sites because this is just easy. Although we're not just a container site. We have got insulation, et cetera, in the units purpose built. Um, we came runner up last year and we won the year before that for the container external site of a year. So it's a really, really nice site. We spent some money on it, but the return on investment is is wonderful. Yeah, we're getting over, I think, about 40% return. Cash on cash return. Oh, you baby. Um, amount of quotes, 10 Amount of reserve, uh, quotes per day, 1.43. Two reservations. Don't forget, though, that reservations is irrelevant because we're nearly full. And so there's lots of sizes we haven't got. And so we send them across to Willoughby or Clough Road. Um, so two reservations. That's a 20% conversion rate. We had one person move in. Um, and uh, that was uh, and other people taking extra rooms. So we had 10% conversion rate from quotes to move-ins. 395 square foot moved in. 525 square foot moved out. Sunday was a killer. We had 400 square foot move out on Sunday. I was like, fuck, is he? Fuck, fuck, fuck. I was like, JP, what the hell happened? Jesus. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I was having a really good week until then. So 130 square foot down. We've got 82 rooms occupied. We're 91% full. The total insurance per move in this week was £7,000, which is good. We have 170 square foot due to move in. Uh, this week and 160 square foot due to move out so that is it my friends don't forget to go over to mrselfstorage.com um, or mrs l storage is another way to say it um, because that is my daily newsletter where you can see all my good stuff and i give you a tip a day as well so there'll be a tip every single day um, towards self stop making your business more profitable basically uh, in the nutshell all right my friends i love you i appreciate you i'm gonna go and make the kids breakfast see you soon bye